Hello, my name is Claudia and today I will talk about crimping. Using crimpers to open and close sample vials is a daily procedure in every modern laboratory. There are two different versions common, manual and electronic crimpers. Manual crimpers are available for opening and closing vials. They are made from stainless steel for applications in the clean room or surface finish to guarantee chemical resistance. Their respective crimpers are suited for cap diameters like 8, 11 or 13 mm. In order to optimize the crimping result, an adjustable screw can be adopted. As an example, I demonstrate now how to crimp a headspace vial. First, the loose cap is set on the top of the vial. Take the crimper and press. A correct and successful crimping result is characterized by a plain surface of the scepter and the aluminum cap. Therefore, the optimal pressure has to be applied to the cap. Otherwise, there is a risk of leakage. Here you can see some examples of incorrectly crimped sample vials, which can be detected by an uneven scepter surface or by non-tight and non-flat aluminum rims. A proper crimping result is especially important for headspace samples. If these vials are over crimped, they tend to burst at the predetermined breaking point of the aluminum cap, even at low internal pressures. Besides manual crimpers, electronic ones become more common. The main advantage of these crimpers are on the one hand the high reproducibility of the crimping result, on the other hand the fact that the semi-automated, easy-to-use procedure offers the possibility to process huge amount of samples in a short time. The handling of electronic crimpers is in many ways similar to the manual ones. Again, the first step is to set the cap on the top of the vial. Use the crimper and close the vial by pressing the button. Based on the same principle, the cap is removed. If you have any questions about manual or electronic crimpers or sample vials, do not hesitate to contact our help desk.